Hey everybody, what is up? We are back on the Elites Only account uh, minutes before the day resets. So we'll get to, uh, <laughs> to have a fresh start here for the day. We, what have we done? I think it's been a couple days since I've recorded, so I'm having a hard time remembering. I don't think I did this in a video or told you guys, but we went ahead and six starred Raven and I've been working on getting her glyphs done uh, without with trying not to spend my gems on farming, so just using my energy as it comes. Uh, I threw some gear on her. We went with an assassin set. Again, if I did this in a video, I apologize. I don't feel like I did, but it's possible. But we went with an assassin set. Um, so she's looking pretty decent. I haven't really played around with her much yet. I'm just working on finishing her glyphs right now. But um, yeah, I think, I think she's gonna be an interesting one to play around with. So we'll do that soon. You see we're real low on jelly. Uh, and that, other than that, I don't think much has really changed. We've been doing the same kind of stuff. We did a little bit of queen farming. We've been playing around a lot in arena. You know, same old stuff, seeing, seeing how high we can get in arena and everything. We'll pop our nose into 3v3 in a sec too and see what's going on. Team arena, 3v3, whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called in this game. It's all the same. Apparently there's been some mentions of some new content. I think it's all very vague right now. I think it's all pretty vague right now. So I don't I don't even have much to say about it. We'll we'll see what they end up dropping. But I I, I just I'm I'm really kind of concerned at the rate that they're pumping out new content. I don't I've never seen a game drop content this so much content so quickly. I feel like we're not even having a, like enough time to really get a hold of one new content drop before they drop something else on us. So I, I hope there's a method to that madness. And I hope that somewhere involved in that soon is an advertising campaign because we've got to start getting some new players in this game. Um, so hopefully, hopefully all that works out soon. No word back yet from them. I know that they collected a lot of feedback from us over the last few days or a few days ago. I believe they've had the meeting. I believe it's all been submitted. No feedback yet as to like how it went or what they're considering or anything like that. So hopefully soon we'll know something and I'll of course keep you guys posted. There's some, there's some pretty, I still think there's some pretty important changes that need to get made that I'm looking forward to. Let's see how it goes. Anything we feel like fighting in here? No. Oh, there's the reset. <laughs> I really want to get the diamond. I really feel like we can get the diamond. Wait, so did it reset me or not? There we go. Right, we'll check back in there in a second. And then I guess this is going to do it too. If you it. Gotta get a bit more active in here if we wanna climb, I reckon. Guess we can knock these out while we're at it. So yeah, I think uh, our, our newest guild boss team that we've been running is hitting high 12s, low 13s pretty regularly. I got another new personal best yesterday. It was about, it was 13 and a quarter or so, which is pretty decent. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do a run with them so you can see them in action. And yeah, I'm going to get back to glyph farming, try to get some XP jelly up so we can start getting our next six star in the works. No idea who it's going to be yet. We're kind of now we're kind of just going down the list, making them happen as as <laughs> as they're available because we're, we're, we're getting there again, trying to keep them all built too. I don't want to have gear sets that I move around. That's just really kind of annoying. Maybe later on we'll do it, but I think right now I'm getting everybody built in a way where there's pretty usable for where I'm at in the game. And I've kind of snooped around a little bit. It's not like I could do much better on the champs that I'm using for Queen and stuff because I kind of prioritized them when I was building anyway. So they're all about as good as they can look anyway. So, you know, we'll get our hands on more gear over time. Nice. 
gonna try to get another bump in elemental power for Zachary and Celine as I'm as I'm able to do that and then again check and see how they do in Ash 10. I feel like we're close. They did a pretty good job of managing the minions last time we tried. I think our issue now is a heal block. We need to um, we need to be able to deal with that. So I think I think between that and then a little bit of extra damage. Like, what's the last time we ran? I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna go take a look at Ash and see what the last thing we tried was. But I feel like we were getting close. We were dealing with the minions fairly well. And then the heal block just made the fight last too long for us to be able to overcome it. Have you, we were talking about this in the stream earlier. Have you noticed? I, I may have mentioned this before too. Have you noticed alt animations aren't happening sometimes? Which is good. I'm wondering what that's about. Like sometimes in Arena, sometimes hit Zachary's animation will trigger and sometimes it won't during his ult. Notice that a few times with a few different champs. I'm not sure what, what they're what they're working on there. We pulled a uh Gajar. Gahar? I don't know how to say it. From our free summon yesterday, which hurt a little bit. Uh what did I say we were gonna look at? The last thing I tried in Ash. Because homeboy, no. Homeboy. Yeah, that. Why didn't that work? What kept that from working? What kept that from working? Why didn't that work? Also, if my audio cuts in and out, I'm trying my mic, my mic in a new place. So if the audio is weird or cuts out at a certain point, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll know after this video. We'll make any adjustments we need to make, but I'm hoping it's all good. But if it happens, just know that I'll be aware of it. You can let me know. On it. That, might, that might help a bit. I'm not going to watch the whole video, but I'm going to kind of look at the audio timeline and editing. See how it looks and then you guys can let me know if there's parts where i trail off and the mic cuts out or anything we can make adjustments i want to see why this doesn't work turn for Zachary is going to be good. So he put unhealable up at just the absolute worst time. I hope that doesn't set a rhythm for when that goes up. Marion doesn't have a heal block, does she? She would be pretty helpful. Because maybe what's happening is Zachary's going down. Yeah, he's putting the heal block up after he uses his skill. This that that could not be happening at a worse time. He's doing us no good then. The attack down's helping, but like he's doing nothing for us. We need a more reliable heal heal block. I wonder how Holland's would do in here. And then that that's an issue. He's too squishy. We we don't have enough heals. So that was the issue. I wonder how Hollands would do. I'm 
Man, can we can we get like one turn a one turn reduction on the healing spell? Two. Yeah, we're we're dealing with that. All right, wait, wait, are we are we in a, a good place now? Yeah, no heal here for him. We just gotta keep Zachary alive. Uh, Zachary might die right now, actually. No, there's a bomb on him. Okay. Dude, if Marion had a heal block, she'd be so good for this. Dang it, man. We're close, though. It's just... There's not enough sustain. The heal spell's not enough sustain for us. Zachary needs some more tank stats. Or I need Marion to have a heal block, and I don't think she does. Defense down. Defense down would be handy. And she heals, but no heal block. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe with the defense down, we can out damage the heal. You know what I'm saying? Worth the shot, I reckon. Maybe. see how it goes oh kill him one thing I'll say about raids AI that is pretty good is like if there's an enemy with one HP more often than not your champ will just default to their a1 and they won't waste the cooldown skill that's one nice thing about it Oh, how did he not kill that squishy one? See what having the defense down is going to do for us here. Get time in for the spell, because I imagine Marion's got another skill ready. Yeah. Zachary, I think, has an ult. That's such a big heal, man. I guess one other way to come at this too is to stack defense up on everyone. So that he does less damage so that he heals less. Because it doesn't he it isn't the heal based off the damage he does. Covers 150% of the damage dealt. Why do you let him hit AoE and recover 150% of the damage he deals as health? That seems excessive. See there, there was no ult animation. Alright, Selene, we need we need we need you on this one. Yeah. Oh god, that's an 18% heal. I don't... 
I mean, we must be, we must be out damaging it to a degree, but. This could be bad. This could be the end of it right here. No, we snuck it in on him. We gotta get him killed though. So yeah, last time he went from 52 to 70, that time he went from 51 to 70, so we made no progress in this round. She's as old, that could be bad news. Oh man, this is this is a scary moment right here. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay dealing with the minions. Got him down to 43 that time. That's some progress. Don't ult, no. <laughs> It might work out. It's been working out okay so far. Good. Buffs all around. So yeah, he always brings minions back after that. Act, so. Let's see how this goes. Chunking him down a bit. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's going to heal a bit here. Yeah, put that defense down up. Perfect. Good, good. Nice. I believe Selene and Zachary have ults soon. This turn, if not next. Defense down on the minions is big there. Big. Oh man, so close to the kill. So close to the kill before the heal. Sling at the extra turn. Should help her cycle to the ult a little faster. I think we're in good shape. I think we got this. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. Let's go, baby. It took him a long time, but it's a clear. It's a clear. Our first Ash 10 clear. That's progress. That is progress. So there you go. It's just so brutal. That would be so much more reasonable with, you know, the changes we've talked about a few times, but it is progress. I don't even want to think about <laughs> what an 11 run looks like. Uh, we'll, I, we'll, we'll, we have to try it. We have to try it. I want to go in and get rid of some of these notifications real quick. Let's see what it looks like in 11. Grab some of this stuff out of here. All right, so we got that done. So what are these? Deploy four level 60 water aligned heroes to defeat Ash. Doesn't matter which stage. 
four heroes achieve a speed of 150 against Ash. Okay. And then this one was one counterattack boost cast by Tulpa. All right, so we just got to get it clear with a buff strip in there. Four level 60 water aligned heroes. Doesn't matter which stage. Okay. Doable. Doable. It's like part of that part of that feels great to have made that progress and another part of me just is still aggravated about the changes that need making. But progress is progress and it feels good, so we'll take it, you know. We need to do a guild boss run too. Alright. God dude, just give me a collect all button. I mean, you don't really have to, but let's see what that looks like then we'll do a guild boss run i just i just want to see i just want to talk to him i don't know how fast everyone in here is either i would i would reckon i don't think zachary is, is at 150 but i'm not sure oh that's so that's so dumb just waste that ult. Ow. All right, what are we looking at here? How much How much harder? Because I feel like the jump from nine to 10 is very noticeable. I'm wondering if it's as noticeable from 10 to 11. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, obviously the waves were a little bit harder to kill. So let's see what this looks like. Didn't get a kill, that's bad news. Does Selene have her ult? Yeah, they're pretty noticeably tankier here. So we got him out of there just in time. The heal's gonna be much worse too, because he's gonna be doing more damage his multipliers are higher as well, so the heal's going to be a bit harder to overcome. Hmm. Like, he'll probably be full health. Close. So, 10% heal. Okay. That's not as bad, actually. Did we, have, we had defense buffs up, though, huh? I, I kind of think if we could, if there was some way to work a heal block into this setup, like if Marion had a heal block, that would just be so wonderful. All right, are we screwed? No, he's gonna do that and then he's gonna bonus turn bomb. Attack buff just in time. Oh, have an ult. Please have an ult. Okay. Deep in thought. 
Long, long pause. Alright, have some ults for us. Have some ults for us, guys. Ooh, not Zachary. Alright. So we, we can definitely see the damage output is a bit higher here, which is fine. We're managing the minions better than I thought we would, actually. I don't know that it's going to be guaranteed for a fight that's going to last as long as this one's going to last. I think we need to be a bit more well-rounded with our stats in here. Zachary still needs to be a bit tankier, but he also needs to maintain his damage. It's a real shame there's no way to work a uh, heal block in, in here, into this team. I wish, I really wish Marion had. That would be great. Because if he wasn't healing, we would be looking real good. We'd be looking real good right now. But we're, we're basically just trading damage at this point. Trading damage and heals. I mean, obviously we're making a little bit of progress, but it this run is gonna take so long and we need everything to continue to go right for so long. And that's gonna be it right there, right? That's a wrap, okay. Man, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. They did better that time than I thought they would, for sure. They did. They did better than I thought they would, for sure. Alright, let's do our guild boss run. And this is the team I'm running. So we've got him doing his thing. Which, have I turned off his abilities? I need to make sure I've turned off his abilities. We've got him doing his thing. Elson with the bonus turn. She's got the ally attack and stuff. It's been going pretty well. They've been doing pretty well. I do have, yeah, I've got him turned off. So he just A1s. Keeps crit rate on himself. I don't, because I don't think I need the counter attack um, stuff. And that's huge, because he, he gets he can get cursed procs and bonus turn procs. It's real nice. I think it's doing us more good to have his abilities on. Can you see my mouse? His his abilities on the burns. I think the burns do us some good. Yeah, they, they do pretty well. And when I can eventually get everyone on Cursed, that'll also be pretty big. I think Elson's on Rage. I think uh, Maluk is on... I don't remember what Maluk's on, to be honest. And then Freya. I don't remember either. Take a look. But getting them on Cursed, I think, will keep this down, the, the meter down quite a bit. Might be able to sneak in another round or two over time, which would bump us up a few, you know, maybe to 14, 15, but I still, I'm still not sure. I think 25 is gonna be in our near future at least. do anything? Oh, he didn't have a burn, did he? So yeah, high 12. High 12, low 13. New record. That's not true. Maybe new record for the week because it's the first one, but definitely not an actual new record. Um, okay. I don't like those subs, but it may not roll into those subs because the rolling system is weird in this game, so what are you going to do? Alright, we'll get out of here. Not a bad day. 
Got an Ash 10 clear on auto. Farming it, is, I don't think, makes a lot of sense, and I don't know that I think it's going to be a super reliable clear, although they looked all right. I figure if the fight goes on that long, we're in pretty good shape, right? <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe maybe some overnight Ash farming, Ash 10 farming will be something to think about. We're not super far off, I think, from 11. I think... I think we need to get a little bit more well-rounded, well and eventually I would love to figure out a way to get a heal block in the team, um, but I just... Yeah, no support there. Mary, the lifesteal she brings is pretty dope. So, I don't know. We'll have to think about how to mix that up a bit. Maybe instead of her, we just do... Connor. But I feel like I tried that and it didn't work. Maybe, yeah, maybe instead of her we do Connor and then... Yeah, I don't know. That last spot is such an interesting one to solve. If we could have five members on the team, <laughs> that would be great. So yeah, we'll keep playing around with it and see. On to Ash 11. We're catching up, making a little progress. That's great. I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.